If this doesn't work, I fail the challenge. Roblox. Growing up, I did not like it at all. The Lego-like character figures and minigames did not interest me, so Minecraft was my go-to. But recently, things changed. I like making games, and I wanted to try coding on an entirely new platform, one that would be simple and easy to use. How hard could it be to make a Roblox game in one hour? Before I started the challenge, I downloaded Roblox Studio. Roblox Studio is like most game engines. It lets you manually edit the world, but since I'm a semi-professional programmer, I was only going to write my own code. With a blank file, I started the timer. But before I did any coding, I needed some ideas. I've always loved management and strategy games, so I thought about making a tycoon. But with only one hour, I had to be realistic. There was one type of game that I could make so easily that I had to do it. Jokes aside, the idea I had in mind was simple, so I got to work. Roblox games are made with the programming language Lua, and I did not know a single thing about Lua. I looked up a tutorial on Roblox scripting and came across the YouTuber Alvin Blocks. All I needed to know was how to make functions and write a for loop. When I make calculator games, I usually have to code movement and collision myself, but luckily Roblox handles most of that for me. I learned that I could make blocks using the default part object. I made one part with code, and I could clearly interact with it, but I needed a lot more than that. Using the functions tutorial, I created a template for making these parts. I added a for loop so that I could make as many parts as I wanted. And I mean as many parts as I wanted. All the parts I made with this function would all be in the same location and look identical for now. Using the iteration variable in the for loop, I made it so that every part would be equally spaced out. I created the blocks at the same height and tested the game. All the blocks started falling from the sky. I googled the problem and found out that I needed to change the anchored property so the blocks wouldn't be affected by the player or gravity. Time was running out and there were still features I wanted to add. I wanted the blocks to be at different heights, so I added in the random function. The default blocks were also this disgusting gray color. I made a table that the function could use to color the blocks, and this would almost cause me to fail the challenge. I made a function to create the death blocks under the course. What's the point of having a game that you can't die in? And with that, it was time to test it out. If this doesn't work, I fail the challenge. As someone who is only known for writing perfect code, I was shocked. With less than 5 minutes left, I rushed to figure out what went wrong. None of the parts were created, and the ones that were did not have any color. This had to be a problem with how I called the colors from the table. I made a rookie mistake. Lua wants to be different so badly that instead of starting at index 0, tables start at index 1. This was a simple fix, but another reason why C is a superior language. And with that change, it worked. This is what I was able to make in one hour without any prior experience. Every time the game runs, it'll produce a different course. I could add onto it by adding a respawn platform and checkpoints. I could also have the platforms rise and fall while the player goes through the course. It's not much, but I think it's fun for my first game. If you want to see me make more games from scratch, make sure to subscribe. If this does well, I might code a full Roblox game, so comment your ideas below. If you want to make your own game, just go for it. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube that are easy to follow. It's everyday code for everyday people. Thanks for watching.